Be inspired with the special message from Bishop Macedo. Hello, my friends. May the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Living God, the Spirit of the Almighty God, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac and Israel, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. May He be with you all, now and forever. See, today we have started the fast of Daniel, 21 days of abstinence from information, from entertainment, politics, elections, all sorts of entertainment, gossip, social media, nonsense conversation between one another. All of these you're going to put aside and you will look to empty yourself, to empty from yourself and to absorb the thoughts of God in order for you to have the Spirit of the Living God, the Spirit of creation, the Spirit that said, let there be light, and there was light, in order for there to be in your life light, and this light may guide you to the green pastures which He has prepared for those who obey his voice, his word. Speaking of Abraham, we have talked about family lately because in regards to, to human beings, the first thing God created was the, the family, the sacred family. He made Adam his image and likeness, and right after he made Eve and he then established the most sacred institution there is on the face of the earth, which is the family, a home, a marriage, the marriage, the union between two people, which become one. And for you to have an idea, of this revelation, of the greatness of this revelation, you who are watching me right now and that will participate, obviously many will watch this video later on, but it doesn't matter, you are watching as if it was live. Right now we are live, but whatever moment you are going to be watching it will be live for you, because the spirit will be the same. See, in establishing the family, the institution that is the holiest on earth, holier than the church, holier than the church. Did you know that? God first created the family because God is family. God is Father, God is Son, God is Spirit, His family. And when He created Adam, He created Eve to establish a family with Him. So see that how from God's family to the human family, and see the advice that God gives us. See what He, God, God, says to me and to you. Through the prophet Isaiah, he says like this, Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness, who want to follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord, you who seek righteousness, you who are following righteousness and seeking the Lord, the Lord God seeking me, Look to Abraham, your father, your father in faith, obviously. 
Look to Abraham. And, and then he says, and to Sarah as well, who bore you. Meaning, God says that we should look at a couple. In the beginning, he created Adam and Eve. And now, he has in Abraham and Sarah an instrument as the profile, as a reference to all human beings. If you want to be happy, if you want to walk with me, I understand this voice, I understand it this way. Do you want to walk with me? Then look to Abraham and to Sarah. Look to them, look at him, because they were both one anyways. Look to Abraham, look to Sarah. Because he being alone, look how nice, for I called him alone, alone, by himself. I called him and blessed him and increased him. God wants to do this with you, my friend. You who were thrown into this world, Let, sorry for the expression, don't get me wrong, but to understand better, you who are a spot in this world, and you were born without a reference of a mother, a father, without the reference of a family, you don't know what a family is, what it is to live in a family, you don't know what is like to have a husband, a spouse, who represents God, or you don't know perhaps what it's like to have a wife, a wife who represents the church of the Lord Jesus. You don't know what it is. You are alone. You were born alone and you've lived alone for years. And you've complained, you've lamented and murmured and said, Oh, I cannot believe in God because I see so many people living with a family and I don't have a father, I don't have a mother, I don't have anyone for me. My friend, you who are in this situation, God, He wants to make you a blessing, an Abraham in this world, a reference. He says here, For I called him, I blessed him and increased him. God is calling you, you who are listening to me now. Whatever is the time of the day, whether it's today, tomorrow, any day, God is calling you. God is calling you, ladies. You young lady, young man, you who find yourself lost, you who are an orphan of mother and father, you are an orphan of everything and everyone, you are someone who is isolated, abandoned, rejected, excluded. God is calling you and He is saying, look to Abraham, look to Sarah, you who are a man, He says, look to Abraham. You who are a woman, he is saying, look to Sarah, because she was barren, she was barren, she couldn't conceive, and she conceived at the age of 90 years old, 90 years old, already with her body numb, but still God, the God of Abraham, the God of Abraham, the almighty God of Israel, not the physical Israel, but the Israel born from Isaac, that was born from Abraham. Look to him. I want to do for you what I did for him. God wants to make you a new creature. He wants to turn you into a family, a real family, as He did with me, and I can say that to you. I have authority to say that to you. I have authority. God gave me a family, and He wants to give you a family. 
What do I have to do then, Bishop? Just believe. Believe. And, and how do I believe? Follow the steps of Abraham. Read about his life. Meditate on Abraham's life. And God will speak to you. Start there in Genesis, which is the origin of all things. The book of Genesis is the book of the origin of humanity, of all things. So start your Genesis, your origin, there in, in chapter 12 of Genesis, when God called Abraham. And here he speaks. Thousands of years later, he speaks through the prophet Isaiah. You who follow after righteousness, you who are sincere, you who want to walk in integrity, you want to walk in integrity, perhaps you are walking in the dirt, in sin, but you are walking in sin and in dirt because you don't know the truth, you don't know what righteousness and integrity is. You don't know me, but if you, or those who are sincere, God gives them the opportunity as he's giving this opportunity to you now. So he says, look to Abraham, you who are a man, and he's telling you ladies, look to Sarah. See what these two characters were like. They are the father, we can say, the fathers of the nations of all over the world almost they all came from abraham you receiving this understanding you will receive the spirit of god you desiring righteousness you will receive the holy spirit you meditating by meditating on this you will receive the holy spirit because he my friend he wants to dwell in you more than you want him to come and dwell in you. Can you imagine that? Very well. God is more interested in making you a mansion for his dwelling, dwelling of the Holy Spirit, than you need him. Okay? So tomorrow we are going to be talking more about this. He wants to make you his dwelling place, but this dwelling place he wants to build with his own hands in order for it to be a palace in your life. May God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.